in a lot of distress, a lot of embarrassment. Her daily activities was severely affected. It's not easy dealing with this as a 19-year-old. كان عندها شوي صعوبة بالحركة، كان عندها صعوبة بالإيد، كانوا إجريها شوي يكونوا عم بلفوا لجوا. Carmen is suffering from an extremely rare condition. Everything that she had to do in her daily life was difficult because of this dystonia. It was a terrible shock. Carmen is a very bright, motivated, and extremely brave student. She developed symptoms of hand tightness in her left hand. She was having difficulty doing her daily activities. She was in a lot of distress, a lot of embarrassment. Her daily activities was severely affected. Everything was going well until uh, September 2019, when my daughter turned 18. So we noticed that uh, she has a problem using her left hand and also she started also to lose her balance and uh, having like a freezing gait. When we first saw Carmen, um, she was very depressed, um, had a lot of limitations. Uh, because of the upper extremity dystonia, she had a hard time doing a lot of things in her daily life. She had a hard time with writing, she had a, right, a hard time uh, with things like uh, brushing her hair, showering, getting dressed, just because of those dystonic tremors. <laughs> of hope she came to Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. She was diagnosed with this condition called dystonia where we see the neurological symptoms of hand twisting and tightness. Additionally when she came she had a lot of weakness um, so we had to work on a lot of those challenges in order to provide to her the best therapy and the best uh, quality of life after therapy possible. We addressed directly to Dr. Shiva Mittal and uh, he did the first uh, diagnostic, so uh, he found that uh, our daughter, unfortunately, has a neurological problem. It's uh, a syndrome called the haller vorden spatz This one is giving uh, her a problem with the hand called dystonia, so she cannot control her, head, her hand because of uh, some wrong impulses from the brain. Dystonia is a neurological condition, is a movement disorder where you see turning and twisting of the muscles. Dystonia can affect different parts of the body. When it affects the neck, it is called cervical dystonia. When it affects the eyes, it causes blepharospasm. The different medical terms that doctors use to describe dystonia. So Carmen, this is an example of a hand mm -hmm. and we have more than 20 muscles in one upper limb. Mm -hmm. There are different muscles which can contract, which can become tight. Mm -hmm. As a result, you have posturing in the hand, which we call as dystonia. Yeah. We use EMG where we find the muscle mm -hmm. exactly, and we can go deep inside the muscle mm -hmm. and find the muscle, isolate the muscle, and inject botulinum toxin injection. Mm -hmm. And when it is done precisely, it works very well. Okay. Because the dystonia was in her left hand, so she still had a lot of difficulties um, doing her activities of daily living. So simple things like uh, brushing her hair would be difficult, uh, taking a shower, uh, putting her jacket on, putting her clothes on. Everything that she had to do in her daily life was difficult because of this dystonia. <laughs> Dystonia is an extremely rare neurological condition. 
when we look at the movement disorders, which is a group of neurological condition, the most common condition we see is Parkinson's disease. Other condition is essential tremor. And third most common on the list is dystonia. Dystonia, we subgroup as there is a cause or there's a genetic reason for dystonia, or there is a secondary cause for the dystonia. For us, it was a shock, a real shock. So uh, we tried and managed to overcome our initial shock and uh, uh, pain and uh, explained to her that uh, uh, with treatment she can still have uh, her dream come true but she has to be positive and uh, uh, just uh, overcome everything. When Carmen came to Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi, I went through the entire history examination and able to diagnose that she is suffering from this rare condition called dystonia. Now, when we look at dystonia, we have to find out what's the reason for dystonia. She had MRI testing and we found a very specific pattern that we see in a genetic condition causing this condition of dystonia. So when we see a patient with dystonia like her, we discuss all the patients in our multidisciplinary team meeting to check what age it started, how the symptoms are progressing, what are other symptoms are there, what all the body parts are affected, how it is affecting her daily life, whether she is responding to medicine or the injections. Out of all patients, about 15 to 20% of the patients may need a surgical intervention when mostly they are not responding to medication or botulinum toxin. It is very important that we consider patient in the center and we should have a surrounding team with a multidisciplinary approach, including occupational therapist, physical therapist, physical medicine and rehabilitation specialist, and also requiring neurosurgeon if we need to. For Carmen, you know, things like um, gaining her strength to be able to do all her activities of daily living was something that was important. So we had to develop a specific patient-specific uh, plan that was um, fit for her. This botulinum toxin is a very powerful medication which injected in the right dose in the right muscles using sophisticated technique like the electromyography EMG machine. We can find out the right muscle and we can improve the symptoms. Uh, very well. Luckily, Carmen uh, is that kind of girl that uh, she smiles all the time. She's over positive. Very rarely you can see her uh, upset or uh, not smiling. So uh, she understood her situation and she said that, uh, yes, I will fight with this disease. She will not uh, uh, put me down. Uh, عند المريضة لحتى تكون عم تسترجع حركتها بطريقة طبيعية. So أول ما إجت لعنا كان عندها شوي صعوبة بالحركة كان عندها صعوبة بالإيد كانوا إجريا شوي كنا عم بلفوا لجوا وكان عندها شوي صعوبة بالمشي. I'm gonna ask you to remove your hands. Keep your balance straight. All right. Shiver. Keep your balance straight. Very good. Very good. All right. All right. Okay. okay, let's do that again. Remove your hands. Very good. Keep your balance straight.
Women always uh, discuss feeling self-conscious about her condition. Going to school, she felt that she wasn't um, normal like, the, uh, like her other um, classmates were because of those uh, dystonic patterns that she was having. So we kind of also had to work through that to make sure that she felt um, normal like every other 19-year-old would. From our side, we discuss all these patients in a multidisciplinary team meeting where everybody chips in, they gives their ideas to make every part of her life, not only her symptoms, her daily life, how she is working in her sleep, how is her sleep, how is her daily activities, how is her mood. The quality of life is very important. Thanks to the whole team of uh, doctors from Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi, uh, Carmen now is like another person. If you should have seen her three years ago, uh, her movements were uh, uh, very disruptive. several sessions, Carmen showed great improvement. She was very diligent and consistent with therapy and that helped us out a lot throughout the way. Um, she was able to reach most of her goals um, in very little time. So I knew that she was doing a lot of work also outside of therapy. Okay, keep your hands on your chest. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to keep on holding you from the back. Mm -hmm. I want you to step forward. Yes, one time with the right and one time with the left. Keep your balance, brace your core, very good. Again, slower and go as far as you can. Very good. هلا صارت كثير احسن، قدرنا نحن وياها نوصل للنتيجه يلي هي كمان بدها اياها ويلي هي كمان بتتمناها من خلال شيء بنسميه مالتي ديسبلينري ابروتش يلي هو تواصل بين كل الفريق الطبي لحتى نوصل لاحسن النتائج. Carmen is definitely a success story. She is brave, she is strong, and she likes to keep on moving on. That's the spirit that Carmen has. So Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi, along with its multidisciplinary team, really did help Carmen achieve um, her activities of daily living and helped her realize that she is able to, to have a regular life and to be able to complete everything that she wants to. For, for, for a 19 year old, she has her whole life ahead of her and we were so happy to be able to provide her with that bright future that she deserves. I am very hopeful that with the treatment that she is getting, she will do wonders. She has done so well in the past few years that I, have, I think she has a very bright future ahead and she will make her parents, herself, very proud. So I promise her that uh, we'll go back only one more time here for some, uh, some treatment and then uh, it will be not necessary to come again because she will be completely cured. With a positive mind, think this can be achievable.